Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hello girlies, today we are going to be doing a what's in my diaper bag. I will say I'm kind of an overpacker. As you can tell, I have this big old diaper bag filled to the tip of the top. <laughs> so if you're looking for a simplistic, minimal diaper bag video, this is not the right video for you. Even before I had Enzo, pre-baby, if you watch my old what's in my purse videos, you know I overpack. I love packing a lot of stuff. But I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's go ahead and get into it. I know you girls are so excited to see what I have in here. If you're nosy like me, or if you want some ideas, you're in the right spot. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first and foremost, I'm going to start out with what diaper bag I have. So if you watch my Christmas vlog, then you know I got this Bay's diaper bag for Christmas. It is absolutely stunning. Um, I love the color. I love the detail. I will leave the link below to this bag. This isn't a sponsored video. There's no affiliate links. Bayes doesn't even know I'm making this video, but <laughs> I just wanted to share how amazing this diaper bag is. It's such good quality. This is my third diaper bag, I believe, that I've had in the past 15 months of my son being born and this is by far my favorite one it's spacious there's so many pockets so much storage which is great because then i can put more stuff in the diaper bag <laughs> so i've had two book bag diaper bags and they just didn't work for me i'm definitely more of a tote bag girl now does my husband enjoy carrying this no not as much just because it is like a bougie girly type of bag but they do have book bag type diaper bags so i don't know if i should start with the inside or the outside pockets let's start with the outside pockets because i really don't have much so in this side pocket i usually keep my cell phone or a water bottle on the other side i have some lysol wipes so i have these if we're going to a restaurant and i need to clean off my son's part of the table or grocery carts high chairs all that good stuff. I have this in there. I just get them from like Dollar Tree or Walmart. You can buy like little small packs and I leave them in there. That way it's accessible. It's easy for me to just grab, wipe, and put them on back. So I usually don't carry anything in the front pocket. Sometimes if I have the water bottle on the side, I will um, put my phone in here just because it's easy, my keys, all that good stuff. But for the most part, I still have some empty pockets. I'm thinking here, like, what can I put in that pocket? <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go to the back of the diaper bag. So something really cool is the bottom has a zipper. So if you're traveling, uh, you can put this on your luggage. That way you don't have to hold it. And there is also a, another pocket here. And they're all magnet closure. There's obviously pockets that have zippers, but these little slots that are in the back, it's a magnetic closure. So in the zip part, I have my wallet. I have lip balm. And I have a cute little hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works, just fresh sparkling snow. And that is all I carry in this bag. Now, if I'm wearing like a certain lip and I know I need to be touching up throughout the night, I'll put my lippy in this just cause it's easier. But for the most part, I just keep my essentials lip balm cause it's winter, hand sanitizer and my wallet. Whatever's easy to grab, I'll even put my keys in there sometimes just cause it's super accessible. You can carry it two ways with this regular straps or oh, I got it all twisted up right here or you can carry it with the chains Ooh, cute I usually like to carry it with the chains just because I think it looks cuter but yeah it's and show you the interior of the bag all right so I'll start with the baby's items and then towards the end I will show my little mom pocket. In my last diaper bag I had a separate wristlet that I could just kind of slip out of the diaper bag and bring it with me if I don't have the baby. But in this diaper bag I just kept my little mom pocket. Maybe I'll change my mind and do a wristlet if I can find a cute one like at Ross or something. 
but for the most part i just keep my stuff in the back zipper pocket but we'll get to that Whew, i have so much in my diaper bag i don't know where to start i guess i will start with this portion of the diaper bag this is basically the feeding and changing portion of the bag so I don't know if you can tell but there is an insulated pocket right here that is where I'll keep his water his milk I'll keep it in there and there's also a drawstring that you could tighten that way the bottle isn't like flying all over the bag so i really like that because in my last diaper bag the bottle of milk or water would kind of just leak everywhere even if it had a lid or some type of closure um in the next pocket so there's a double pocket one pocket here one pocket here in the top pocket i hold the diapers Obviously you need diapers. I like to carry an abundance of diapers. I even have diapers in my car because I have a trunk organizer. If you want me to do a video on like what's in my trunk or how I pack my car for a toddler, let me know because I'd love to do that. I love organization. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. I also have diaper cream and a diaper cream spatula. If you don't have this and you like your nails long or if you don't want to get diaper cream under your nails, this is perfect. So I just keep that in the diaper bag. Next is baby wipes. Of course, any diaper bag <laughs> needs diapers and baby wipes. I feel like those are like the number one essential, whether it's to clean his hands, his face, his bum, you know, you know what diaper wipe, you know what baby wipes are for. Okay, next I'm going to show you what I have in the back pocket. So this is also a magnetic closure. Loops right here, I'm not 100% sure what they are for. I don't know if it's like to hook things on or I'm not sure the website will say what it's for. Like I said, I'll leave a link down below. I don't use them, but the diaper bag did come with a changing pad. It's really nice. It has a pocket. It's really easy to wipe down if you get diaper cream on it or whatever. Then I have a bib. I didn't realize I had two sets of silverware in here, <laughs> but I have a bib that kind of folds into itself. That way it's more compact and it's not taking up too much room. Although mine is not staying together, but I got a bib and I have two sets of silverware. These are by Theo's Mat. I should have two sets, fork and a spoon, because you never know. And usually just to save space, I put it inside of the bib. That way they're just not like flinging around the diaper bag. Moving on, speaking of Theo's mats, I also have these disposable biodegradable mats. So when we go to a restaurant or when we go to my in-laws, I put this underneath his high chair. That way when we're done eating, I can just kind of bunch this up and throw it away. Whatever makes my life easier, I will have. So this definitely makes my life a lot easier. And Theos Mats has like a lot of products for um, baby lead weaning and all of that good stuff. So make sure to check them out. Speaking of mats, I have these plastic ones. They were gifted to me. Theos Mats also has place mats that you can put on the table, but I just use these because they were gifted to me. They work great. They're colorful. They have nimbers on them and stuff like that. So I'm actually running out. So I need to order some more and they just stick to the table. It has like a little, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, right here, you just peel it off and it sticks to the table because I don't know about your toddler, but mine likes to rip plates and mats off the table and throw them. So I'm just glad that those have a little sticky tab. All right, the last two things in this pocket, I have a burp cloth. I don't really use this as much as I did when he was a newborn because he doesn't spit up anymore and he doesn't have like milk dribble all over his mouth anymore. So I don't really use it that much, but I like to have it just in case you never know. And the last item, I always need an extra t-shirt for him, whether he gets his shirt all stained at a restaurant or at my in-laws, whatever it may be, I always carry an extra shirt. I, I try to keep the spare clothing neutral just so it can go with his outfit. <laughs> when I say that out loud, it kind of sounds vain, but like I want his outfits to match, you know? 
I just do. You know, I like when he matches and when everything is cohesive. So I like to keep a neutral shirt in there for him. Down to the inside of the bag. Just like the open part of the bag. I don't have much in right now. I'm gonna go ahead and list the items that are not in the bag that I usually do pack. I pack snacks. Always, no matter where we go, I always pack snacks, whether it's like cut up fruit inside of like a little Tupperware, um, cheese its animal crackers, go-go squeeze, any type of snack you want to bring that isn't going to make your diaper bag messy or get it all stained. Speaking of snacks, I also have this snack holder by Brave Justice Kids Co. I got it from Amazon. It comes with the lid, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> somewhere in the house. And you can also make it larger if you want to put more snacks but there's nothing in here so i don't want it to take up too much room in the diaper bag and it has a little handle easy to clean it's silicone i love this enzo is the type of kid that he will grab a whole handful of like say goldfish and just put the whole handful in his mouth so this allows him just to get like a few at a time so i definitely recommend these and then some type of toy i gotta entertain them somehow <laughs> when we're at a restaurant or anywhere. I know at the gym when I'm done working out and I'm waiting for my husband to finish, we'll go into the studio that's in the gym and I just let him play around with this monster truck. It's like a pushback monster truck, so it kind of spins and stuff like that. It's really cool. I leave that in there. I don't put like really big toys in the diaper bag because I don't want it to be any heavier than it already is, but sometimes I'll put books. Um, he has a busy board, I'll put it in there. Anything that will keep him occupied, I put it in here. So any type of toy, I highly recommend. That way, when you're at a restaurant or somewhere and you need to entertain your baby, you have stuff to pull out. And if he gets bored of the monster truck, I'll bring like a small board book. Mostly, I keep these disposable bags for stinky, dirty diapers because I always feel bad when I throw away a poo diaper at someone's house or at a store or at a restaurant because then the next person that walks in, they're gonna smell it. <laughs> and at this age, their poo diapers stink. So these are really important, especially for at this age. When he was a newborn, obviously they didn't smell because <laughs> I was breastfeeding him. But um, after a while, especially when he started eating solids, he started to stink. Anyway, TMI, but I guess when you're a mom, and I'm sure mostly moms are watching this, there's no such thing as TMI, especially when it comes to your kid. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I just carry these. That way they can mask the smell a little bit because they do have a slight scent. So that works out. And the little carrier, I believe, is by Munchkin. And I just leave it right here hooked in the diaper bag so it's accessible. I'm all about accessibility and making my life easier as a mother. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, next I am going to show you what is in my mom pocket. If you're interested, I know a lot of you are here for what I carry for my toddler, but you can't forget about yourself if you wanna carry a little lipstick or a perfume, lash glue, whatever you wanna do. I even used to carry extra shirts, especially when I was breastfeeding, because I would leak or I would get spit up on my shirt. So I always carried an extra top with me, also neutral, of course, but now I don't have to really worry about that. So I just carry little things here and there. It may be a lot to some, but like I said, I'm an overpacker. So I have this first aid portable pack. It comes with 15 items. I've even had to use this for my husband. <laughs> so it's always nice to have this and it's really small and compact. This is really good for when your baby or toddler starts walking because they're gonna get hurt at some point. So always keep these on you. I have two tampons even when I'm not on my period I always have tampons in my car or in the diaper bag because you never know when you're gonna need them for yourself or someone else I have a mini hairbrush also got this from Dollar Tree you could hook it to your bag my hair gets naughty really easily randomly in this package I have teething oils these are by the brand Camellia I have teething oils so when he's teething he isn't right now but i always like to carry those in the diaper bag just in case i know when he's teething he's like a completely different baby when he's teething i feel so bad so i carry those with me those are the only medicines i carry in the diaper bag 
when we go to the pediatrician and I know that he's getting shots, I will bring Tylenol in the diaper bag with me in case he gets a fever or feels fussy or feels bad or whatever. But for the most part, that's the only type of medicine that I carry for him. I carry a travel perfume. This is by the brand Nest. This is the Golden Nectar. Oh my gosh, it smells so nice. I actually got this as a free sample with my points at Sephora, but I keep this in there because Sometimes I just want a little zhuzh, you know? I have so many lip products in here. Is it really that necessary? Probably not, but I carry them in here anyways. I almost just want to get a wristlet because the lipsticks have already stained the inside of this pocket. It's not a big deal. Obviously it's not going to stay perfect and clean forever, but <laughs> I just wish it never got stains. But anyways, I have a bunch of lip colors, as you can tell, Morphe, NYX, KKW, ColourPop. This is what I'm wearing right now on my lips. The Wet n Wild, the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse in Fluffer Nutter. Is that what it says? Or Fluffer Mutter, something like that. And then the NYX lip liner, waterproof lip liner in Beyond Nude. So I just carry a bunch of lip colors for options. Usually I do my lips in the car anyways, cause I want them to be fresh upon arriving to whatever location we're going to. All right, everyone, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a suggestion on what else I should put in my diaper pack, please leave that down below. Or what are your necessities uh, in your diaper bag? That I wanna know. I know I already have so much stuff in my diaper bag, but I can always add more. There's room for more, especially with the base diaper bag. There's so many pockets and stuff like that. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.